Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're reviewing and comparing two fascinating aircraft concepts, the Russian MiG-41 and Sweden's Saab JAS-39 Gripen. These two jets represent very different philosophies in modern fighter design. One focused on raw speed and futuristic capabilities, the other on agility, cost-effectiveness, and multi-role versatility. Let's begin with the MiG-41. This is Russia's proposed sixth-generation interceptor, intended to replace the legendary MiG-31 Foxhound. While still in development and largely under wraps, the MiG-41 is rumored to be one of the fastest and most advanced aircraft ever built. Russian defense sources have suggested that it could reach speeds of Mach 4 to Mach 5, putting it in the hypersonic range. If true, that would make it the fastest manned jet fighter in history. The MiG-41 is designed primarily for long-range interception, defending Russian airspace against high-speed threats like enemy bombers, reconnaissance aircraft, and potentially even satellites. Expected features include advanced stealth shaping, AI-assisted targeting systems, long-range missiles, and even anti-satellite weaponry. It may also use next-generation propulsion, possibly scramjet or hybrid engines, to achieve extreme speeds and altitudes. However, the MiG-41 is still a project in progress, and many of its specs remain speculative. While it promises groundbreaking capabilities, it also faces challenges, including high development costs, complex engineering, and the difficulty of maintaining extreme performance aircraft over time. Now, let's shift to the Saab JAS-39. Grapen, a multi-role fighter jet already in service and well-proven. Unlike the MiG-41's high-speed interceptor role, the Grapen is built for versatility, rapid deployment, and cost efficiency. It's light, highly maneuverable, and packed with advanced sensors, making it a great fit for both air defense and strike missions. The Gripen's greatest strengths lie in its agility and its ability to operate in tough environments. It can take off from short, improvised runways, even highways, and be serviced by small crews. With its digital cockpit, integrated electronic warfare systems, and network-centric warfare capability, the Gripen delivers excellent performance at a fraction of the cost of many larger jets. Its latest variant, the Gripen E, includes a powerful new engine, AESA radar, improved avionics, and greater weapons capacity. It can carry a wide range of NATO standard missiles and bombs, making it highly adaptable for modern conflicts. While it doesn't match the MiG-41 in speed or theoretical altitude, the Gripen excels in real-world mission flexibility and reliability. So, how do these two aircraft compare? The MiG-41 represents extreme air dominance at high altitudes and hypersonic speed. It's a specialized aircraft designed for intercept missions far from the battlefield, possibly even in near-space environments. If fully realized, it would be a strategic tool for Russia's homeland defense and anti-access strategies. On the other hand, the Gripen is all about accessibility, adaptability, and smart design. It's built for countries that need a powerful, affordable fighter that can perform a wide range of roles in both peacetime and combat. Its focus is on reliability, mission readiness, and interoperability with Western allies. In summary, the MiG-41 and the Gripen are two very different answers to the question of modern air power. One is still a concept aiming to break technological boundaries. The other is a proven workhorse used by multiple air forces around the world. Both have their strengths and both reflect the strategic goals of their respective nations. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for more content on advanced military aviation and global defense technology. Thanks for watching. Time to eat.